Well, I've been working on my long-term review of the Supernote A6X2 this past week. I was creating an exploded view diagram of the Nomad and figured it might be useful for some of my viewers. Here's the time lapse and breakdown. In the next segment, I'll show you the uncut rebuild so you can get a better sense of timing and how easy it really is to assemble or disassemble. I'll also add timestamps of each component so you can jump around to parts you're interested in or perhaps if you need a visual aid while tinkering with your own. I hope it's useful for you. All right, so we're gonna do a real-time full rebuild here. We'll start with the SOC. It's also important that you pull this little flap up when putting it back in, like such. Connect that, and then get these screws back in. And while I'm doing this as quick as I can, uh, I'm not rushing because these are, after all, expensive components and I don't wanna really mess anything up, so just take your time, but this is as fast as I can build it feasibly. So let's pop this guy in. And there's these little two little screws here. This is the power connector uh, attachment, I think. There's a little cable that goes in here. guys back on. You hear a little click. Okay, so the SOC's in. Not too shabby. And we'll get the battery assembly. Actually, I think it's like kind of like a slide like this, yeah. Pop the connector in. And there's this little doohickey type thing that goes here. Oops, missed two screws, here we go. Okay, let's get the battery screws in. And guys, this is with the Supernote screwdriver. So if you have an electric screwdriver, then you will be able to probably do this significantly faster. Let's get these magnets back on. You'll notice one square and one circle, square circle, so you can't mess it up. Okay, so I can get rid of this. And we will give this a quick clean. You can see mine, I don't know if you can tell, but mine you know has some external scratches. I thought this would have been more resistant, but um, really not. By the way, once it's on, it doesn't really bother me. So the power switch you will kind of want to put in here before you drop it in. So putting it at an angle like that helps. There. Okay. One last wipe down. And now we've got these 18 screws here. So let's get after it.
and you don't want to over tighten them either. I have seen images online of people stripping their screws. So just give it a nice little tighten. I will say, um, I honestly, I didn't open this thing for four months and then when I went back to check the back, some of them were light, like lightly coming off. Um, not like completely unthreaded, but just FYI, if you do own the crystal version, every like couple months, I would just check to make sure all the screws are tightened. Cause you don't wanna, you don't really wanna over tighten them. So keeping them mildly tight and just checking once in a while is better. Last one here. Nice. So let's throw it back in the folio here. Oh, I also should note that you should probably turn it off before you do this. <laughs> I didn't even turn it off. Silly, but that's cool how you see how even though I plugged it back in, it still had something on the screen. Actually, this is kind of interesting. I'm curious to see what happens now. I completely unsafely did it. So let's see if anything got affected in the OS. No, looks good. Yep, that's pretty much it. So how long did that take? Uh, probably around, what, six and a half, seven minutes. Stay tuned if you want to see my full long-term Nomad review next week. Thanks for watching.